Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 6 of this Empress of Britain tutorial. Uh, today's focus is the ship's forecastle details, masts, or at least one mast, uh, propellers, rudder, and any other details I can think of while I'm here. Uh, before I start that though, I'm just going to go over to the superstructure of the ship we built in part 5, all those days ago, and I'll just show you that I've added the doors and windows to the deck houses uh, that we built. I've not done the funnel supports because they don't have windows, but the rest of the deck houses say the bridge area and all these areas here have all the doors and windows randomly placed like I normally do so you got five or six windows and doors five or six windows doors and you get the idea on how it's meant to look so you got all those windows done there and of course I'll quickly check around the back of this uh, horseshoe shape area as well we've got all that done as well right lovely wonderful now that what we're going to do now is move on to uh, well, I may as well do the forecastle. That's what I said I was going to do. Well, not quite the forecastle. We're going to go down to the deck above the forecastle. The forecastle is actually this section down here on the uh, bow of the ship. But what we're going to do is go to the, the deck up for, uh, from that first. So we're going to go to the area closest to the uh, front wall of the superstructure. So we're going to go to the front wall at deck level down here. So this big wall and a flat deck down here. And what we're going to do is leave a two block gap from the centre. So centre block there. Leave a two block gap. And on the third block is we're going to add. Uh, cargo hatch so it's going to be flat or basically uh, slabs so it's going to be 11 wide so that's uh, the center one there and it's five either side so one two three four five that way and one two three four five that way and then the sides are 16 so uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen same the other side and then fill in the gap so I just do this as quick as I can. This is going to take forever actually because there's a big old gap. So I shall. Uh, I'll mark it out actually. There you go. There's, there's it marked, um, marked out. And then as you go along, just fill it in with the uh, the right slabs. I don't know the code for the slabs, so there's going to be a pain in the ass to do. I'll do a few for the minute and then uh, I'll come back to it because, uh, like I say, it's going to take a little while. Uh, actually, I'll jump cut it. So uh, let's do a jump cut and uh, everything should be fine. Right, there we go, that's all filled in now. There's the cargo hatch. Really, I could have used uh, blocks for it, used quartz blocks, but uh, seeing as the prototype is flat, I thought I'd just carry on with that. Anyway, that's the hatch done, 11 wide, side 16. And then what we're going to do is leave, uh, we'll go to the centre block of the front of the cargo hatch now, which is down here, and we're going to leave a single block gap. And then we're going to need uh, black, it doesn't really matter, it's black concrete or black wool or whatever. Um, we're going to leave a single block gap and we're going to build a mech which is uh, what connects all the cables to the masts and things. So we're going to build a row of three, so a single block gap and then build a row of three, like so. And then either side of that leave a gap and then build three, and then three like so. And then one block gap, build three again, one block gap and build three again. So it should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, probably nine in total width. So it's five rows with four or the gap between each and then on the top of that on the center you just build a line across like so so it's five rows of three and then a line across the top which is nine long and that is basically like I say it, it attaches the cables and pulleys to the masts and uh, cranes and things like that so that's all that is there right so go back to the ship's superstructure back to the deck house up here back to the uh, superstructure here and we're going to back to the center and then we're going to go one block forward so we're right at the back of the cargo hatch again so we'll go back to the wall here leave a one block gap and then or second block forward and then you're going to count out 16 to the side so second block out so one two and then 16 out so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so 16 out to the side building brown we're going to build a uh, a crane body so a build uh, this would be 17 high so that's the first block and then we build 17 up or in uh, 16 17 in total so that's 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 like so just check on the prototype that's fine and then one block down from the top we build a brown say a ring around the top like so and then go back down to the bottom and build another ring around the bottom there like so, and there's your first uh, crane body, and then for the crane arm, uh, we're going to go seventh up from the bottom. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven up from the bottom, and then we're going to build uh, sixteen rows of two diagonally 
uh, inward. So we we'll go uh, one. I build them facing forward, but diagonally, diagonally inward. So that's one, and you want sixteen of those. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And that should be actually make it fifteen. Otherwise, they uh, they connect in the middle. So build it fifteen, and then you'll have a gap in the middle. So there we go. That's the first crane body and arm done. So I do the same the other side. So it's 16 out from the from the center. So two forward or one forward, uh, two forward and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and do the same again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And then one down from the top, build the uh, brown bit round the top and then go to the bottom build a brown bit round the bottom like so and then seventh up from the bottom two three four five six seven build 15 rows of two so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and there we go 15 rows of two like so and that's our two cranes done there. They're directly above the uh, cargo hatch which is uh, quite handy. Right, so that's that little job done there. I'm just going to check my notes and see how this looks. Bear with me. Alright, so what we want to do now is move back to the the mech on the front. So this uh, bra uh, black thingy me what's it there. And we're going to leave a two block gap forward. So facing or building, uh, counting forward. So from the center go one, two, and on the third block forward we want to build uh, a deck house which is nine wide so that's the center block there so you've got a two block gap forward of the uh, the mech and put the center block and then build four either side so one two three four that way one two three four that way and the sides are four so one two three four and one two three four and then build across the front like so and then increase the height of it to three blocks high so it's three high all the way around Like so, and then add the roof, which is basically white blocks again. Like that, and it should look something like that. It's basically a, a block. Um, and then what you want to do is, on the top of that, on the centre block basically, so the centre top, which is so this is the centre, and the centre is right in the middle there, is where your mast will go. Then the mast is... Uh, like I said, right on the centre then. The mast consists of three rows of 15 upwards, so I'll build that. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then again, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's three rows of 15. And then we want 19, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Like so, so that's your mast built there. And then I'd say 10 down from the top, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Build outwards 3, or 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, like so, and then the same the other side, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then another six down from there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Build out uh, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. That's the mast pretty much done. There will be a crow's nest to add later on, but we're, gonna, we're not going to bother with that deter today. So like I say, crow's nest is a job for another day. But that is the mast in place there. And then for the, uh, the, the derricks and uh, crane arms attached to the mast, we're going to go back down to the bottom of the mast. And we want a second up from the bottom. So bottom of the mast, build up to the second block up. So basically this point. We're going to build uh, 19 rows of two. 19 rows of two back. So like, like the crane arm, just build 19 rows of two. So we build uh, one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. There we go. 19 rows of two back there. I do the same the other side, so it's the same. So we go 1, 2, 3, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, like so. So that's our two rows of 19 out like so. Or, yeah, two rows of two 19s, whatever, like that. And then we're going to add the forward facing parts of the mast, which are three blocks up above where we just built. So we just built the rows of two there. Count three blocks above that. So one, two, three. And then we're going to build 24 blocks forward. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, like so. And then you do the same the other side, another row of 24. I won't bother counting it because I just measure it and compare it to the other side. And there we go, two rows of 24, like so. And it should look something like that, and it doesn't look too bad. Right, so now we want to go back down to the deck house with the mast support on it, which is this one here. And what we're going to do is go to the the go to the back wall of the deck house, so the, the wall closest to the uh, the mech there, and to the back corner, which is this point here. I'm on the left hand side, by the way. We're going to count out from this point here uh, five blocks out, and these will be stairwells. So one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to build uh, three wide, three wide, three wide, like so. So build it three by three or nine basically like that and then we're going to build two forward two forward one one like so and it should look something like that it's like a like stairs basically but it uh, looks something like that and then what you can do is sort of double it forward so build two forward two forward on either side plus two plus two plus two plus two and then the top like so and that would be basically the, a sort of stairwell design but because of the size of it, you can't really, pro well, you probably can't use it as a stairwell, but you can sort of see what I'm trying to do. You'll have a door there, which you can put on, put a door in, and then you can use it as a stairwell if you have the space to do so. You can make it, probably make it a bit bigger, and then you can actually use it as a stairwell. So, um, you know, do a bit of fiddling around, because these things are not, uh, they're not going to, if you make them, if you do make them a bit bigger, they're not going to be in the way as such, but, you, you know, you can make them a bit bigger and use them as a stairwell. So, like I say, put a door in there, and then you can use it as a stairwell, so that's that. I, I'll do the same the other side, so uh, five out from the side, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, build three wide, three wide, three wide, and then two, 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 one there, and then two back, two back, and then increase the height, plus the roof, and then the door for the other stairwell as well. So there we go, there's the two, what would be stairwells, so it's up to you how you want to interpret that. And if you want to make it a bit nice and bit neater as well, you can add quartz stairs to the top. So if I find those wherever they are, there, you can add quartz stairs on top, like so. Add it a bit more bulk, make it look a bit more uh, less bulk or well, less chunky, if you like. So make it look a bit more curvy. And there you go. That's the uh, stairwells done there. Actually, with the size of that uh, stairwell building, you probably could. Uh, turn it into a stairwell proper, but it's up to you how you want to interpret that. I mean, it's it's uh, nothing really uh, special there. Right, so what we're going to do now is go to the front wall of the deck house with just well with the mast on top, and we're going to get the anvils, and we're going to use them to place bollards. So in front of the uh, deck house here, we're going to put a row of I think it's five bollards. So one on the centre, and then two either side of that. Like so, so you've got five bollards across like that, which are basically anvils, as you can see. Um, and I'm just reading my notes to make sure I'm doing this right. And then what we want to do is add two pairs of bollards on the deck itself. So if we go to the front corner of this deck, we we'll add a pair of bollards there. Actually, we'll make it one block away from the edge. So put a pair of bollards there, and then a bit further back, add another pair of bollards. So uh, like so, like there. And it should look something like that. And if you want to, uh, if you look on the side here, you've got walls which are not connected because they're on the edge of the ship. What we can do is add a block in each corner to actually connect them and then they'll look a lot better. So add a block and a block there and those two walls are connected. And we'll do the same the other side, just add a wall, connect there and connect there. And I'll add the bollards on this side as well. So we've got the two sets of bollards over there. And we'll just add two sets of bollards over here as well. So there's a set there and the other set go just up on this corner as well. 
like so. I think that's where they go, and yep, yeah, that's fine. And uh, that is all done there. So one more job to do before I do a jump cut is to add a pair of staircases to the front wall of this uh, deck house. Uh, superstructure rather. So you can see it goes from the deck down here and then the stairs will go down to the forecastle. So if we go from the outside edge, so I'm working on the left again, I'm going to count to the... Uh, I don't know actually, I did write it down, but I think it's about... I think it's about five blocks in. So we'll go from the, from the edge, go one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and on the sixth block we'll remove two blocks there and then two blocks again and then we'll add stairs so we'll get to the wooden stairs wherever I put them where are they? there they are so we'll get our wooden stairs and build our staircases going down to the deck below so we've got stairs, blocks, step, stairs and then blocks and then stairs and then blocks and then stairs again like so, so it's basically rows of stairs plus blocks and then the banisters you go two up two up two up same on the other side two up two up two up and there you go there's a staircase there and I'll, I'll do the other side but I'll do it in a in a copy paste because I can't be bothered to build it all again so just quickly copy and flip that to the other side so I shall stand here and I just quickly copy that to the other side so copy flip paste and there we go there's the staircase for the other side and that is all marvellous so that is that little job done there one more job to do before we do the jump cut is to get a bit of decoration here we're going to get some brown carpet brown always hides the shit and what we're going to do is basically add a brown carpet on the edge of the uh, of the deck and it should all look fine so it's basically just a bit of trim sort of uh, something the ships of the time used and it don't look too bad so just add that trim all the way around the side there and then across the front as well and then lastly down the other side and there we go that's the uh, that uh, deck done and it should look something like that. The details do actually bring the ship to life a bit more, you know, it's not uh, as gawky as it could be. And uh, there will be more detail to add to the front walls as well. I mean, we've got, if you look on the superstructure, it's very blank at the moment, but there will be windows and doors to add later on, but uh, not to worry. Anyway, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a quick jump cut, restart the game again because it's lagging, and then we'll move on to the forecastle with uh, more details. So, um, back in a moment. Right, back again. So what we're going to do now is move on to the actual forecastle and start building there. Uh, what we're going to do is go down to the centre or the centre point of the front wall of the uh, uh, forecastle. So you've got the tip of the bow over there, and then you've got this front wall here between the two staircases. Go to the centre block, and we're going to build uh, or count to the second block forward. So one, two, make it third block forward, and we're going to add a hatch. So we'll build the centre block, and the hatch is seven wide. So uh, three other side, one, two, three, and one, two, three. And the sides are four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then across the front, like so. And instead of using slabs, I've used blocks this time, so just to make it life a bit easier. So fill in the uh, space, like so. And there we go, there's our hatch with uh, cargo hatch. So that is basically that. Now, what we want to do is uh, count to the second block forward of the centre again. So, front centre, leave a one block gap. So, one and to the next block along. We need uh, black concrete again for the mech. So, we'll get black concrete again. And it's going to be the same again, nine wide. So, centre, like so. And then uh, a row of three there. And then th uh, two rows of three either side. So, one, two, three there. And one, two, three there. Same the other side. One, two, three there. And one, two, three. And then build a line across the top. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wide across like that. And there you go. There's the mech. Once again, that attaches cables and what sits to the uh, uh, masts and things. Okay. Next, we want. Uh, Trying to work out how to do this. We're going to want uh, three gap, uh, three block gap forward. So we go uh, from the front of the mech. We go one, two, three forward. And then six out to the side. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we build a square like so. 
and then on top of that we build or add railway track on top for the uh, windless design so it makes it look like it's a turning thing um, uh, oh, what's it called it's a windless but it's uh, got turning arms on it so it uh, makes it look you know what I mean yeah and then we do the same the other side so uh, six out to the side one two three four five six and then add another square like so plus the railway track on top and there you go there's, there's two windlasses like that and then back to the mech we want uh, f uh, yeah, back to the front of the mech and then we want to count eight blocks forward or nine blocks forward sorry so one two three four five six seven eight nine and then one to the side we add another square like so and then one to the other side one two three four like so so you got nine block gap and then one to the side you build two squares like that uh try to see what color they are i think they're brown or are they white i think they're brown on the prototype but i'll leave them white because it's no big deal once again we add the railway track to the top and then we get quartz slabs which are here and then what we're going to do is from the back of the windlasses we're going to build uh build out two so one two and then three four and then one two three forward one two three like so so it's basically so it creates a sort of platform do the same on the other side so one two three four out and then one two three forward one two three so it looks something like that and then uh, for the anchor chains themselves we're going to need what color do I need actually I'm just going to fly over to the prototype and work out how to do this because I've not written it down um, but we need anvils which is uh, fine and then we need uh, grey concrete or, or grey wool whichever you want so we need grey uh, something so I'll, I'll probably use grey wool for this one so just fly back over and we get our grey wool which is down here somewhere where is it where is it where is it grey wool grey wool that's concrete uh, where's, the, where's the wool oh it's up here use grey wool and then what we're going to do is dig a trench uh, so basically one block from the center from these uh, windlasses we're going to uh, cut a trench 12 long I think so yep yeah, so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 like so and then the same the other side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and then replace with the grey wool like so so you get your two grey lines like that and then for the uh, anchor chains themselves you're going to use the anvils like so what where'd it go Oh, there it is. Okay, use the anchor um, anvils for the anchor chain. So we just want 12 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There we go. So there's the two anchor chains like so. And then at each end you want to build, uh, or at the end you build a row of two, and then two out, and one forward. Like so, and then two out one forward and there you go you got your, your anchor chain ends like so and then going back along the chains roughly halfway along I'm not sure where exactly but ha roughly halfway along and one out to the side you build a three block high tower so one two three high there same on the other side one two three so it looks something like that and then you add blocks across the top so just basically connect them together like so and it should look something like that and then lastly we want uh, the uh, uh, yeah the anchor crane so we'll go from the anchor chains here we're going to leave a seven block gap so one two three four five six seven and on the eighth block we add the uh, crane itself so the crane is uh, hang on, there is a six block high block uh, tower so one two three four five six up and then for the arm we want quartz slabs again so there's our arm and then one block down from the top or half a, half a block down from the top we build the arm nine long so one one two three four five six seven eight nine like so and then we add slabs diagonally downwards to create the support for the arm like so and there you are, there's the crane arm that or the crane itself 
and it should look something like that. And then lastly, in front of the crane, we're just going to add another pole, which is about seven blocks high. So one, two, three blocks forward, go one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven high, like so. Kind of acts as a flagpole or a headlight. I don't know, not a headlight, but I uh, don't really know. I think it's a flagpole or, or part of the uh, rigging, but uh, just add that there. And it should look something like that. And then we'll get our anvils again and we'll add bollards. So I want two pairs of bollards either side of the foxal. So I'll put them in random. So put a couple of bollards there. And then another pair further back. Roughly there like so. I'll do the same the other side. So a pair of bollards roughly there I think was it? Nope. Where was it? It was there and there. Was that the right place? Nope. Is that the right place? It is right. There we are. There's the first pair. And the other pair roughly down here, like so. And there we go. There's our ballards there. And then lastly, for the uh, deck itself, uh, where we're going to add the handrails, what we're going to do, we've got the sides of the sides of the uh, deck here, which are not connected by white blocks. So if we, uh, so if we're going to build the handrails, so if I get the handrails up, which are iron bars basically, you build the uh, handrails along the side. So if we, if, actually, if we go from the, the front wall of the superstructure and then build the handrails, like so, and then go as far forward as where the hull goes up a bit, you can see uh, the handrails there. But you, if you look underneath the handrails at certain points, you've got the wood blocks uh, underneath there. So what I'm going to do, I'll remove those wood blocks and replace with white blocks so that the uh, handrails sit on something uniform, like so. This is what I do with all my ships, so if you're familiar, then you'll know. So it's basically just that. Like so, I'll do the same the other side, so I'll add our handrails. All the way forward, I mean there's only a short handrail because you can see the hull climbs up so you don't need to worry too much. And then we just remove those wood blocks and replace with white blocks in specific points. And there we go, there's the handrails added there. And that is pretty much all the detail added for the forecastle deck and the upper deck there. Like I say, there will be a hand, um, not handrail, the uh, crow's nest will be added later on, but that's not a big deal just yet. And uh, yeah, I think we'll leave it at that with the uh, forecastle. So we may come back and add a bit more if we want to, but I don't think we need it, but it don't look too bad. So we'll leave that. So what we're going to do now is go back up to the uh, ship superstructure on the... Uh, well, I'll go back to the boat deck, which is where we added these stairs here in a previous video. Um, these are behind the bridge area. So there's the bridge area up there, and then you've got these stairs down here. If we go up to the next section up here with the uh, next deck, you've got another corner section here. So you've got the ship's wheelhouse up there, and then you've got this corner section there. You're going to add another set of stairs. So if we remove uh, two white blocks and then uh, add stairs, so we get our stair blocks again in this area, so stairs, uh, stairs, stairs, and stairs, and then add white blocks underneath for support, and then add our banisters, two up, two up, two up, like so, so there's our stairs there, do the same on the other side, so in the, in the side here, I, I remove two blocks there, and replace with stairs, 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 and stairs, plus the white blocks for support and then the banisters, two up, two up two, two up like so, and there we go, there's the stairs added there so there we go, there's your access from boat deck up another deck there and then lastly you want to go to the back of the bridge wings and add a pair of stairs there, so it's this, kind of the same process but I'm not sure actually, if I just pop over to the prototype I just want to check uh, whether the staircases are the same width or are a single. We shall find out. And they are one block wide, so that's fine. So just fly back over again. So we'll go from the bridge wings down, and we're going to add a single uh, line of stairs, so it's only one block thickness. So back over to the right-hand side here, behind the bridge house, uh, wheelhouse, and we add stairs in this point here. So add a single row of stairs, and block, stairs, block, stairs, block and stairs and then the banisters two up two up two up and then in the other gap two up two up and one there and there we go there's a staircase there 
and then the same on the other side remove two blocks there and add the stairs block stairs block stairs block and stairs banisters two up two up one and then two up two up two up there and there we go there's those stairs added there all nice and neat and all jolly like that and uh, shouldn't look too bad uh, last job for the moment we're going to go back down to the front walls of the superstructure so behind the uh, cranes here what we're going to do is add another line of white blocks around the edge of the front deck here basically creating a wall so I add a wall around the edge of the uh, bottom one first so this is the first uh, deck above so we just add the wall across like so and then the same with the deck above just add another wall across like so like so that should look something like that and then lastly for the details we're going to add carpet again get the brown shitty carpet again and we're going to add carpet to the top of these walls on the front here. Now it's just a, another trim detail thing. Just makes the ship look a bit more, not, not say not classy, just moves it a bit more detail because the, the white is kind of bland. But when you add a bit of uh, brown trim to the top, it just makes it look a bit more, uh, like I say, detailed. So that's the bottom one there. And then the next one above. So I think you, you could use some um, wood slabs if you want to, it's up to you, if you it depends on the thickness that you want, I mean uh, the brown carpet does look alright, but if you want to use uh, oak wood slabs or something along those lines you can, it should be a, no big deal. So there we are, there's that section done there, and then lastly we do the same around the bridge uh, deck, so around the edge of the bridge wings, add the brown carpet across there. And I don't normally do this till the last day, but uh, I thought I'd get it out of the way. So there's the front of the bridge wings, and then around the back of the bridge wings as well. And then up the side, around the back of the deck house. And then up the other side to the other bridge wing. And there we go, that's our little details done there. And it don't look too bad, it just gives the ship a bit more uh, detail, like I say. And uh, it shouldn't be too bad. So, one more, well, not, not one more job, but I'm just going to fly over to the prototype now and check our side windows, because these are windows which I forgot to add uh, in the previous video. So, the side windows here, if you look at the, uh, um, the bridge wings there, you've got side windows just below. So, these windows here, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, there's ten windows there. So these are the top of the side superstructure. We want to add ten windows, so and they're ten. Uh, they're one and a half windows, so they're like uh, you, you see on the side here. We've got the two sets of windows already. The bottom set are two high. The next set up are one and a half high. So the next set of windows above are one and a half high again. So you want ten of these. So we'll add the first window just above the first window below. So our first window, and I'll add the slabs in a minute. So that's one, and then two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you've got ten windows there, like so. And then we get our slabs, which are quartz slabs again. And then we add the slabs to the top, on top of the window. So you've got uh, one and a half window sections, like so. And there we go. There's the ten windows there. And I do the same the other side. So the ten windows again, down the other side. So uh, one. And then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then the slabs on top. And there we go. There's those windows added there. Right, so that's that little job done there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a jump cut and work out what to do next, and then we can move on. So um, that's all that detail done there. So um, yeah, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is move on to the front windows of the uh, superstructure. Uh, we're going to start at the bottom and on the centre. So the uh, front walls here, there's three tiers basically, but four decks 
uh, if you like. So we'll go down to the bottom center first, so right down to the bottom here between the two cranes. And what we're going to do is add four uh, windows, so one either side of the center, so center is there, one either side, uh, or working to one side, we'll add four windows, so that's one, uh, well, add two windows either side, so basically so you've got one, and then two, and then either side you go one and two, so you've got four windows like that, either side, and then you want two large windows, so we add uh, two windows which are big squares like so, like that, either side, so you've got the four windows there, and then two big windows that side, and then again two big windows this side, so they're big squares like so, and then on top of them you want to add slabs, so I'll do, this, <laughs> I'll do the same again, add slabs on top on top of the uh, big windows as well. As you can see inside there, you've got the deck of the next deck inside there as well, but that's not a big deal because uh, well it's up to you what you want to do but it's not a big do if you can see the deck inside there anyway there's the windows done there with the uh, big slab like so it does look a bit cluttered with the amount of windows there but no big deal so that's those there and then we want uh, two well either side of that we want doors so on the next section back we add doors here so add uh, a pair of doors if we can find them in there like so and then behind or well, by, by the side of the doors you add a pair of windows so we'll add a window there and another window over here so like that and then we'll add slabs on top like so and there you go that's how that should look and I do the same the other side so we'll cut into the next section add a door there and then we'll add a pair of windows and what's the gap between the door and the window it is two blo two blocks so add a window there and then a window on the side like so plus the slabs on top there we go. So that's the front or the bottom wall done, and it should look something like that. I think maybe slightly too cluttered, but you can reduce the amount of windows if you want to. Um, but that's no big deal. Right. So that's that deck. So then we're going to move up to the next deck, which is basically that deck inside there. You just see it there. So we're going to go basically from the from the middle. If we go from the bottom center block, we go one, two, three, four, five, six up, and then we start again either side. So there's the center block, which is there. And for the windows there, we want to add two single windows. So we count two to the side, uh, one, two, and add a window there. And then two to the other side, add a window there. And then we want uh, a pair of flat windows. So we want uh, so we're going to a two block gap, and then add a flat window like so, and then another flat window like that. Same on the other side, two block gap, flat window, another block gap, two, uh, flat window like so. So it looks something like that. And then either side, on the next panel, we just add uh, another flat window and then a single window at a two-block gap, like so. And it should look something like that. Do the same the other side. I uh, can't remember how many gap it was. It's directly above the door, effectively. So a flat window there and another smaller window there. And there we go. There's those windows there. So you can see it, it looks quite cluttered. But you know, it's up to you how you want to interpret this. <laughs> and that's that job done there. So onto the next deck up now, onto the area here. So we've got the centre block again. So it's basically the middle deck of this section. All we want now is single windows. So these are just single block windows. You want four on the front here. So the centre block here, we add four. Uh, so we go uh, two block gaps. So uh, or. or center and go two out and add four windows two windows sorry so window and then a window and then the same the other side add a window and a window so you've got your four windows there like so and like I said they're single windows so I need to reduce that back down to singles <laughs> that's my mistake there we go so you got single windows like that and then we want uh, basically two windows on the next panel so a window there and a window there and on the last panel we add two doors so a door there like so so I do the same the other side so add window there and a window there and then finally a pair of doors on the side here like that and it should look something like that in theory and then lastly we move on to the next deck up which is the one directly below the uh, ship's wheelhouse and from the center again we want four windows so from the center we go one and uh, 
two there. These are two block high windows, or or do they have slabs? Uh, they're two blocks high, so you've got two windows there, and then two windows that side. So you've got four windows there like that. And then the next panel you want two windows on there. And then lastly another single window on the last panel, plus a pair of doors. Like so, so that's one side. Do the same on the other side, so we want a pair of windows and then a door on the last panel. Alright, how is it laid out? I can't remember. Oh we want a window, then a door, sorry. So we put a window in and then a door. I think that's how it's laid out. And it should all look something like that. It's not brilliant, it's not perfect. You can rearrange the windows if you want. Uh, find some proper pictures and it should all look okay. But that is how I've come up with it and it should look sort of like that. So what I'm going to do now is adjust the microphone because it's swinging away from me. And what we'll do now is move to the back end. I'm just going to check my notes first and then I shall move on. Bear with me. Alright, so what we're going to do now is move on to the propellers and the rudder now. So I've done all the front stuff. We're going to work to the back end now. We're going to work on the ass end. And we're going to go right underneath the back end of the ship. So we want to add the rudder first. And before we add the rudder, we want to add some hinges, which are a cobble cobblestone wall. So I'll go right underneath down to the end of the keel. So you've got this, uh, this straight edge on the red down here. And we'll remove the sign on the middle, we don't need that. And we'll get our cobblestone wall, which is that thing there. And for the hinges, you want seven hinges. So from the bottom, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven hinges, like so. And then for the rudder itself, we want to add at the bottom, we want nine long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine like that. And then you want to go up 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Like so. And then we want to build forward 1. So 1. And then uh, 2. 1, 2. And then 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 3. 1, 2, 3. And that should connect to the top hinge. And then the space in between, just fill in with red. So I shall build down to the bottom of the rudder again. Like so, so all the hinges are connected, and then this big space we just fill in with the red for the rudder. So it's nothing really special for the design, but it's on there nonetheless. So we just get this out of the way quick. And there we go, there's the rudder done. Wonderful. Now for the propellers, and as per usual, I shall work on the right-hand side, and then I'll copy flip it to the other side because they're all the same on both sides. So for the propellers, we go back down to the end of the keel, which is where the first hinge is attached, and we're going to count up to the tenth block from the or on the keel. So the keel is number one. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then you want to count back or forward seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you want to build out six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Like so. And then build one forward. And then we get our uh, sandstone. Uh, sandstone blocks. And sandstone stairs. Because these are the components for the propellers. So you want to add. On that block there you add a sandstone forward. And then you add. Two, uh, basically build a swastika effectively. So you build two up. One. Two out. Down two down, one, and then two out, up. So you've got a swastika like that, plus one in the centre. And then for the propeller blades, we're on uh, all the proper details, I think this is how it goes. So we put stairs on the end, like so, and then stairs on the side like that. And then underneath we do the same, so stairs and stairs, plus stairs there. And then stairs on the other end, and like so. So you can sort of see the propellers coming out, coming to shape. Stairs again, and again, and lastly underneath, like so. And there we go, there's one propeller blade done like so, or propeller uh, four blades, if you like. So that's that section there, and then for the propeller itself, uh, propeller shaft, what we need to do is remove the six going out, so from the side we just remove the five, or five of the six blocks like so, 
and then what we do we add uh, rows of two up so we build two 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 and uh, one effectively so you got to two 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 one like so and then for the propeller shaft you just build forward until the until it connects to the hull like so and then each row you build the same actually this section is a bit wrong so I just remove that section so from the base again we build one and then two two or three basically so build two three like that and that should be the propeller shaft and then we can add the rest of it like so and there we are that's uh, that section done there so that's the uh, first propeller and then what we do we go back to where the uh, the final or where the first red block was built so this one here which is the one we built outwards so go from this red block here, and then we're going to count to the 20th block forward. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And we do the same <coughs> same process again. So we build out 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1 forward, plus 1 sandstone, and then we build the swastika again. like so and then the one block forward and then we add the stairs 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 and stairs 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 and stairs and then stairs stairs and stairs 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 preferably the right way and then stairs underneath again so there we are there's the propeller there and then we can remove the five blocks one two three four five and then just build the propeller shaft until it blends in with the rest of the hull. And this one's slightly longer because of the hull is slightly shallower in that area. And then we just build uh, one, two, and one, two, three across like so, and then just fill in the rest of the shaft. Like so, in theory. And there we go, that's the second propeller shaft done. So you've got two propellers on one side. You just need to do the same thing on the other side because the ship is symmetrical, of course. The ship has four propellers. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quick copy-paste for this one because it's going to take forever otherwise let me do that all again. So I shall copy from down there. Copy, flip and paste it to the other side. And it should all be okay. So I shall copy to that point there. And then we do the usual copy, flip and then paste. And there we go, four propellers in place, and the ship looks mighty fine. At least you got propulsion now, anyway. And uh, she don't look too bad. She's got a bit more detail compared to the other day, and uh, still plenty of more to go on though. But uh, that's all I'm going to do for today, because this video is sort of stretched into the 40-minute mark, I think. We're over half an hour, I know that, but uh, yeah, it's a bit longer than the previous videos. So for uh, so that's parts. I think this is part six. So for part seven. If that is the right one, we shall uh, work on the funnels. I think the funnels, uh, docking bridge, uh, stern details, and some other bits as well. So I'll get the funnels out of the way. They're the big yellow things, of course. And then we can move on to other things after that. And then we should sort of be smaller details after that. Um, so yeah, so still plenty more to go on. But uh, yeah, part seven will be the funnels and all the other bits I just mentioned so we shall call it a day now so this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing and I shall return in part 7 I think so yeah so yeah, so yeah this is by me disappearing so um, bye for now